hi guys welcome back to my channel so for whatever reason my computer is acting up so I'm I have to be videoing from my phone so I just try to get the computer started out later on and so I'm not continuously I use my phone for vlog because I don't really like to use my phone to vlog but for today's sake I'll just use my phone so this morning while cleaning up it's like for some strange reason I don't know how or why I book up on some old time money in this day and age here in Jamaica certain currency no not a currency certain certain paper money and certain coins are cut out um them stop use certain paper money and certain coins kind of modify they look different and stuff some stuff like that so i said why not do a video like one of those memory lane kind of videos with some of the old monies that i have because from when i was a child growing up my mother used to save some of the old monies so like the old time paper money them and the old time coins well i don't have any coins right now because i don't know what she do with them but the paper money i have i have a quite i have some of them with me here so i said like hey why not do one of those memory lane kind of videos for those persons who are not familiar with what the jamaican monies look like or for persons who are Jamaicans and don't even know what them old time money look like or maybe they don't even remember because the younger gener the, the current generation now they wouldn't know what those monies look like so I am going to get started with the monies that I do have um, so the first one that I will show you guys is Oh, but me could even find the twenty dollar cause Jamaica did have one twenty paper twenty dollar one time. I don't even know whether they may almost certain one one day in I house, you know. I'm almost certain one paper twenty dollar day. In. So anyways The first one that I want to share with you guys is the ten dollar. Me not quite remember when they cut out the paper the paper ten dollar but about 2004 5 I think they cut out the paper ten dollar don't take my word for it I am just trying to remember so the paper ten dollar has the national hero George William Gordon on it so this is what it looks like the paper ten dollar and that is one of Jamaica's national heroes and this is what the other side looks like. Yeah, it focuses now. Yeah. So this this picture over here, where my thing, where my point a finger on, it's some bauxite industry. I guess it was because Jamaica is known for bauxite. I guess I one of them bauxite site there wherever here in Jamaica it's not stated where exactly that box site site is um the other one I want to share with you guys is the five dollar the five dollar of Norman Manley on it and the back of it it has the old parliament building so this is what it looks like on the front and uh, this is Norman Manley and this is the back with the old parliament house these are the old time because currently they don't use paper five dollar anymore they use five dollar as in the coin version um the two dollar paper money now it has Paul Bogle on it um and the back of it it, on the back of it it has some children on it 
obviously of different ethnic backgrounds and I like what it says out of many one people out of many one people is Jamaica's motto and as it says out of many one people Jamaica is made up of a wide variety of ethnic backgrounds so this picture with the children because obviously there's some tough head pitney as well some thick no them tough head nigga Jamaica and pitney there and yeah, see some straight ear children you see someone look like Indian or whatever, whatever, whatever they are, whatever background they are from, ethnic backgrounds they are from. So it shows their paper two dollar and Paul Bogle on the front. And because them one them show you a while ago, them well Chris, you know. Um, I guess because my mother did um put them in a the album. And put the plastic wrapper over the album, over each page of the album, so they stay crisp and pretty. The tender land, the tender low, I'm sure they're not too long. That one, they're not so bad looking. But this one, the low, I have now, that one, the low, you're not so clear because this looks a bit tattered. It has Alexander Bustamante on the front of this one, and the back of it, I don't know where this is. And it's not stated either. So, this is what the one dollar looks, paper one dollar looks like. The picture of Bustamante there is very faint, but for those who actually know what Bustamante look like, they can figure out the face where I show right there. So, and the back of it there. As I talk about Bustamante, for those Jamaica, um, native Jamaicans who are born and grew up here, they are supposed to know the sweetie way named Busta. I never, I never used to like Busta still, but like when you were going to primary school or even some high schools, you don't have like one vendor down your school yet I sell the sweetie way they call Busta. If I remember correctly, at the same thing they call Stagabak. There was this thing where they used to sell a primary school out of the gate with the vendor they must sell. I'm almost certain the same thing when they call Buster, I then call Stagabak. Yeah, and there was this other thing where they sell a school named, um, what is that something the name again? Um, Jackass Khan. Yes, Jackass Khan. Or, or Donkey, Donkey Jawbreaker. Donkey Jaw something, something. Some Donkey Jawbreaker something. It was very tough it nice still you know about it i didn't call it chris as well some persons call it chris still i say them them long time something day when you got primary school and my tell you man anyways those were the days and you don't normally find once in a while you will find some random um people coming to school yet well let me not say every primary school had this experience for I hope I can speak on behalf of rural primary schools in Jamaica. You don't find some individuals, some random individuals, them come to school get a sell fish. You know, ask me where they get them fish there from, but they have fish I sell, like them have one big container of fish. And when I get break time or lunch time, or even when school are, go, school are over, you're able to buy some fish I think probably like four or five of them put in a one bag and sell you so with the expectation that you are going to raise the fish them or something like that and there was this other what is, what is something the name again um I don't remember that something the name but they used to sell a school gate but there were so many things where rural primary schools experienced I can't really account for urban primary schools because I, I never went to urban primary school and I don't think I've had any friends that I know of that shared their experiences of urban primary schools. I don't quite remember, I can't recall that. And remember like nowadays primary school the children they get lunch after the pod program. But back then they used to have Nutri 
as in this company called New Church. I don't know what the correct name for New Church is. Um, I think a Nutrition Foods are the correct Nutrition Foods Limited or something like that is the correct name. And Nutri used to cater or sponsor or whatever the term may be certain stuff to the school or distribute certain stuff to the school. So they used to get like bulla and the pink milk or even the white milk and I tell you no man. When you get neutral bullet and one bag of pink milk, I the white milk, but persons tend to rush off for the pink milk. The pink milk obviously is nicer. The pink milk kind of like a which flavor? If on a strawberry, probably like some cherry kind of something. So, when you get bulla for a neutral a neutral pink milk, you get something. But they kind of cut. I'm not sure if there are any schools now who still get from that program that company but i would want to think it is now cut out or phased out so they don't have that program anymore i'm not i, I don't quite sure i'm not quite sure i haven't heard of it since lately so i'm not sure and yeah i used to have this thing we're going to primary school where some white people come from foreign um some samaritan samaritan's purse it name the name Samaritan's Purse and it's like them pack one little box most ki most times a shoes box them pack stuff in a and wrap it pretty and all of that and come and distribute it in other schools and you know we Jamaicans we get things from foreign we run up and we're well excited and there are so many things you don't get on your groom and your boss from your brother and sister them and your cousin and all of that. I remember one time I get this um gig and I get a yo-yo and what do you call it? something the cube? You know the cubes where each side of the cube is a different colour and when you twist it and turn it you have to fix it back to make one face and one colour and one face and one other colour. Um I remember I got one of that and I got even some pretty markers and stuff like that. You know, basic stuff for children that appreciate and stuff like that. And my tell you, my memories of back then primary school were lit. When I tell you, I say lit, I mean legit lit. Just come to think of it now, you know. And I really say I want to go back to primary school, but. You know, you just reminisce for some nice days and all of that. Mm -hmm. And um, you used to have like class party and trip and them kind of stuff there. And um, you know, yeah, I mean, I think you find nobody nowadays a flower people picnic. But when I go to school and people know say your birthday, trust me, you can't escape flowering. If you run, just know that some my flower I go catch you. The thing is, if the if the if your friend them buy one pound of flower, maybe the entire pound I go catch you, but some I go catch you because they go try them utmost best before you reach your yard. So my flower I go reach by you. I I can't me not require show you people still flower people nowadays. Maybe them nowadays pick not too big for your flower. So then cut out the idea of flooring you or flooring your friends and um them pick me nowadays then i know the fun way our back then generation did have i tell you man and it's like you have sunday school like in your community you have sunday school i guess sunday school is still emphasized in most in most um households but what I don't see popular again is VBS. Um, I don't think every denomination refers to it as VBS, but my church refers to it as VBS. VBS is VBS stands for Vocational Bible School. Like during the summers, um. The church would normally partner with whatever international organization or international church and they would come to Jamaica at 
our church and basically Bible school for a week but they make it as creative as possible and then they don't make it boring like actually you have different age groups you're catering for so they split up the classes in the church because first of all I want I know so much to go, go on so if you know say at the first week of July you go have VBS I keep they would put up sign or notices out in the community on the, on the light post or on the notice board or police youth club or them issued flyers or something like that and make the community aware that VBS are going to start XYZ date and last for XYZ amount of days normally starts 9 o'clock and end by like 12.31 and you don't get break and lunch or whatever items I do in between so basically from 9 to 12 my, my church used to keep it for you don't get break in between and they provide lunch for you but the main aim is to introduce biblical stuff to you they're not forcing the children to oh, run go baptize and all of that but they try to bring the message of God in a interesting way simple stuff like for color one picture with God or when you hear the name Jesus will come to your mind and stuff like that so I don't like nothing for force a picnic if you go baptize or force a picnic if you go turn Christian or something like that and it was normal it normally was an interesting session so them little things that I kind of miss but my days were wonderful my days were good I, I and um, there was that during summer you would normally go to country for people who live at town you have your cousin them from town and come stay with them for, for the holiday or something and you go to the river and you run boat and all them something there you catch janga and for those who don't know what name janga it's basically shrimp so what you are familiar with as shrimp I don't want to say every Jamaican call it janga but for me, or Janga, me refer to it as where I'm from, they refer to it as Janga. So, I get on the river, and you lift up the stone, them and look for Janga. And when you catch enough Janga, you go and you parch Janga. Or you can cook little white rice and cook long the Janga in the rice. And I you, you get a little one pot. Or, you know, them nice days, them something like that. The good old reminiscing days. But let me be thankful that I was a part of that generation to have enjoyed that phase because it's a different phase of life right now. Them children and nowadays, they might experience a different era, the more technologically inclined era. So, anyways, let me cut this video short and stop boring to death. That was just one of those moments so I just feel like fi do a video and reminisce from the old time money that I found and shared my memories of primary school and VBS and country life and all them kind of something there. So um remember to like my video, share and subscribe and all of that good stuff and comment as well and join the family. Uh stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys. Bye.